Hey everybody, and happy back to school. Yay. Um, I am back in my classroom. It's only been a few uh, few weeks. Um, we got out pretty late last year, but next year we will get out a little bit earlier, so that's exciting. Uh, but you can see I'm glistening because they're still working on fixing the air. So I have a fan blowing. Hopefully you all can hear me, but we are back with another book review. Um, so this book um, was a book club book, but they split it over two months because a lot of us were traveling over the summer. Um, and that is All Creatures Great and Small by James um, Harriet. And it is not what I expected. Of course, um, by the title, I fully expected it to be uber conservative, Christian jibber jabber. Um, but um, it was actually just like a really sweet, cute British novel, which I'm always down for a good British novel. Um, and um, I also um, did the audiobook with this one um, from the actor who played uh, James Harriet in um, the PBS series, All Creatures Great and Small. He does a version of the audiobook. And it was just so very good to have that as a companion alongside. It definitely got you more into the British spirit. Um, but yeah, overall, it was a really good book. It was very um, episodic, if you will. Like, there were specific episodes that kept um, happening each chapter. Some of them continue throughout the book, um, or like, it continues for a couple chapters but like for the most part it was like the chapter was almost like watching a tv episode just the thing happened and then moved on uh so there was that i i kind of liked that part of it but i also kind of didn't i wanted just like one fell swoop through uh, as a through story instead of it being so chopped up and all over the place the other piece of it that um I don't know if I really liked or didn't like, but it, it did, there were times where I felt like it was just going on on a specific rant for a little bit in terms of what's happening at one of the uh, farmhouses or whatever in the story. Um, I should probably explain the story is about a vet in the um, 1920s and 30s. Maybe it's just 30s, um, but it's in a period that I really, uh, admire and that I really like um, and he works in Yorkshire um, uh, amongst all the farms and stuff so it's a lot there's a lot of animals and stuff like that uh, that just makes the story very sweet but it, it, there were just times where I'm just like it's going on and we're still on the same cow <laughs> so I didn't always like that but I understood why the author did it that way um, I would probably give this book maybe a three and a half out of five. It was a good book, not something I typically would pick up, uh, but it was very, felt like a very safe, chill book. And I, um, and I didn't hate it, but it definitely felt more like something that I would rather watch than read. So there's that. So there you are, All Creatures Great and Small by James Harriet, very old book. Um, I think it came out in the 70s, um, but the stories are actually from the author, like he is an actual vet or was an actual vet and wrote all his stories down. Some of them seem a little embellished, but there's a little bit of this, that, and the other. So that's all I have for this book review. Make sure that you guys are continuing to submit book ideas, I'm loving those that are coming in. And I look forward to hopefully getting around to some of them. And uh, with the new school year starting, I'm going to try and make, you know, be on time. I've been pretty on time for the last couple um, ones. But uh, if you notice that I'm gone for a little bit, it might be because school has taken back over my life. But I really do enjoy reading. And um, everybody at school is also... Uh, avid readers we're all avid book people so it's also really awesome to talk with other staff members and stuff about books and um, so I'm excited to continue on the reading journey and I look forward to more suggestions I will see you all in the next book review bye